A few weeks ago, Devil's Details Diecast announced a Halloween build-off. And despite its <laughs> shaky start, <laughs> um, I decided that I wanted to create the Bone Hauler. A combination of a bone shaker and a Matchbox 1963 Cadillac hearse. Uh, I got the hearse in a five-pack. I think it was a five-pack of cars. Um... Uh, had to get it when I saw the hearse. So uh, when I bought it, I didn't have this in mind, but uh, it just begs to be chopped up. So Halloween has always been really big in our family. My, my wife was like the queen of Halloween. She absolutely loved it. So we have all kinds of, I don't know what you'd call them, little figurines and different things. And so this will fit right in with those. So the Matchbox 63 hearse and the bone shaker, I had already drilled them out at this point and uh, started taking them apart. And much to my surprise, when I popped open the hearse, you see it has that ruby glass. You can't really see anything inside of it. But you open it, and there's actually a casket in there with a hand sticking out of it. So you couldn't ask for anything more than that. Uh, the ruby glass, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not. Um, the color was just too dark. So I like to use tape to mark off where I want to saw. Got out the jeweler's saw, saw and started making the cuts I needed to do. This was a long process, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing here. And uh, right now I should mention some of these clips are going to be out of sequence because... Uh, as I'm doing these things, I'm kind of all over the place between the interior, the body, painting it. Different parts of it are happening all at the same time. So I tried to group these in the video so they made a little bit more sense. But uh, you just take your time with the jeweler saw, make the cuts you need to make, and uh, be patient so that they're straight. Patience isn't my long suit, but for whatever reason, it seems to work with the jeweler saw because if I tried this with the Dremel tool, I'd just butcher those things up. And no, I don't saw through my finger there, even though it kind of looks like I'm heading that way. <laughs> So eventually I actually got the, the thing chopped in half and cut the back end off the bone crusher. If you take a look there, I used a sheet of styrene, a kind of thick piece to get it to the level I wanted, and then tacked it with JB Weld. Added more JB Weld and tried to get a feel for what it was going to look like. Uh, it took a lot of putty, a lot of sanding. Everything I had done up to this point body-wise, most of it was just combining combis. And that's like putting two toasters together. The bodies are really smooth-sided, not a problem. This had The curves here were more complex and gave me a real appreciation for the people who had body kits to Hot Wheels cars and that kind of thing. It's just the curves you're trying to work are difficult. So once I had that together, I needed to get the, the base. I needed to combine the two bases. So once the body's together, then it's easy to figure out what you're going to do with the base. You just figure out roughly where you're going to cut them, make the cuts, pop the back half on, pop the front half on, and then just patch the two of them together. So what I'll end up using is uh, styrene as a kind of a mending plate to put the two together. I had to put the, uh, the engine from the bone crusher in there just to make sure everything was level when I went to do the fitting. I really like the look of that. I knew I was going to swap the wheels out. But even those wheels didn't look bad. So that's basically, you can see I still had a gap, but then uh, I filled in that gap on both sides with some styrene. 
I thought I might put the axle in from the top, but then I ended up having to put it on the bottom to get the stance that I wanted. Then uh, covered the wheel wells and uh, basically had the base the way I wanted it. The wheels were going to mount from underneath in an axle tube that I, I add later. This was a bear to get smooth. It, uh, it seemed like I used a lot of JB Weld and then I used putty and then I tried uh, a trick that I had seen online where you mix isopropyl alcohol with Milliput putty and it makes it kind of a putty paint. And it was interesting. It helped smooth it a little. <laughs> but uh, basically the only solution was sanding and sanding and more sanding and filling and sanding. But it eventually got where I wanted it. I knew I needed the wheels to be wider than the body, obviously. I, I didn't want them to fit inside the wheel well. It, they tucked in inside on the original hearse, but that's not what I wanted for the, for the bone hauler. I wanted those back wheels sticking out there, proud, like they do on the bone shaker, aggressive. So here's how I put the axle tube in. You can see how those tires are outside, then you know, sprinkled a little uh, baking powder on there to... Uh, make it hold a little better and uh, then detailed out that casket which was probably the most fun out of any detailing I've ever done because come on it's it's a coffin with a hand sticking out of it is it Dracula who knows is it you know what is it is it a zombie but it's in there it's in the back of the bone holler So then I detailed, uh, it, it's a plastic base, and so I detailed, it was just gray plastic on the hearse. So I uh, used the Molotow pen to chrome that out, detailed the interior of the bone crusher, um, you know, I detailed the skull on the front and some of the engine detail, painted the seats red because I just thought that would pop against the black color that I ended up going for the body. I almost, I was really close when I put this thing you know, in primer to just kind of rat rod it out. And then I thought, no, I gotta go traditional. I used the Tamiya red, clear red paint for those back tail lights. Um, so I thought that turned out really nice. That, that clear red paint is interesting. It works really well, but I have a hard time applying it sometimes. There is also on the body, of the caddy on the back of the hearse, there's the tail lights back up there too. So I did those too. And uh, I tried to detail this a little more than I have before. And yes, I'm using a toothpick there for the detail. That just seems to work best for me on using that clear red as opposed to a paintbrush. It's almost like you're filling, filling the grooves with that clear red as opposed to using it like a real paint. Um, so anyhow, the, the body fought me, when it, the paint fought me. Uh, I used Duplicolor paint, this brilliant black pearl. I think it's a Chrysler color, if I remember right. It's a beautiful paint, but it was just a bear going on, and uh, it, it stayed rough. It, it had a roughness to it that I couldn't get around, and so I wet sanded it. This was just one of the times I wet sanded it. And uh, then I applied the clear coats and wet sanded between those. I ended up putting in the back windows. Those are just from a Hot Wheels plastic, you know, the pack that you get it. I wanted them to be as clear as possible. And I used that uh, micro crystal, crystal clear as the adhesive to hold them in place. Then it was time to throw it all together. And uh, I'm really happy with it. it it's it seems like a lot of times when I do these, I guess it makes sense that they seem like they're extra large because I'm putting multiple things together. This thing rolls like mad, which makes me really happy. Um, and so there's the end result, the bone hauler. Um, you can see in the windows, you can see the casket back there. You can see the hand. <laughs> um, 
So those are some of our uh, Halloween decorations that we have in the background. My wife loved those. She has all kinds of those things, and so naturally I had to bring them out for this. And uh, this was a lot of fun. And uh, I really do thank Jamie at Devil's Details Diecast for having this Halloween build-off. I really enjoyed it, and uh, it meant a lot to me. I hope you like this car as much as I do. I hope you like the video. There's a little bit of a special video right after this one on the turntable using another one of, of our Halloween decorations that just seemed particularly appropriate. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you like the car. Thank you for subscribing and keep watching for more videos. Check out everybody else's videos that are doing this Halloween build off as well. I'll have some of them listed below, but be certain to check Devil's Details Diecast YouTube channel for more of the cars. Thanks again, and happy Halloween, everyone.